Hello guys, hello and welcome back to another Colonicraft video and as you can see we've got quite a lot of villagers in our breeder and in today's episode we are going to start a chaining the Iron Titan but there's a lot more work to do before we start with that and as you can see if I'll just take a look in this uh, you can see we've got like 55 villagers in there and I want to have kind of like 60 maybe 70 villagers and then uh, I will cancel this temporary loop and we can start collecting some villagers for our farm and uh, one thing that I want to do in the future with this breeder I want to build on this island kind of like trading hall with the villagers so yeah that that would be awesome and today uh, we need to kind of prepare ourselves yeah that's right because I can I have some lags and I don't I don't know why well hopefully in this area it will get better but uh, yeah uh, I want to uh, or I need to uh, kind of build the uh, the timer for the clock that will spit out all those items into the nether so we can keep this area loaded and I am having serious lags and I don't know why yeah and one problem with this is that they are spawns you see those slimes uh, well uh, hopefully when this will all get flooded again no more slimes will spawn right here but i'm not sure so what we need to do now uh is to dig a little bit down and i already have a hole in the ground and right there will be the lava pit for the iron golems and underneath this somewhere will be kind of a storage system and you know so I need to uh, start working on that because when I will finish this farm um, actually uh, I don't want to kind of have a uh, spend a lot of time with the digging and with preparing the area down there so I kind of want to uh, finish this farm finish the chaining and I want to just go there and build some storage system or something like that so yeah I definitely need to uh, dig the area somewhere and for that I need a lot of hoppers quite a lot um, I've got the iron that I need that's not a problem maybe wood will be problem but I'm, I'm not sure so yeah uh, I will prepare everything up and I will meet you when we are ready to bring some villagers. Okay guys, so we are now at the kind of tunnel or kennel. Uh, call it as you want, but yeah, this is the way how we are going to transport all those villagers and as you can see i've got the here first one two three four five six guys so let's quickly block this and now i need to push them a little bit forward oh sorry you are blocked here sorry for that and uh, we need to push them a little bit more into that water stream so let's grab the water and oh man what did just happen 
well uh, okay so last of them is there and oh well you want to join your friends i knew it i knew it okay so this is the last one and now i can put the water oh well i need a sign first and here and i can put the water right here and we need to jump off this remove this block and i need to block it right right here here okay so yeah we are good and uh, uh right there over here uh we can stack another villagers and I want to follow those guys so yeah hello there come on come on go go uh i think i will just pop quickly through here and <clears throat> i will help him come on and i prepared the tunnels and uh, at the end of those tunnels, I've got water sources. Okay, so we can go off. And uh, in each capsules, uh, down there, I've got water sources, or water. So hopefully, they will land safely in those capsules. And, well, this guy is having troubles. Man, you need to keep up. Okay, he's in. So, yeah. Uh, and what I need to do is uh, I need to AFK more because in 1.8 version, the village breeders are not super fast. So, yeah, I need to AFK a little bit more. And I need another 40 villagers. It means 20 in each. And I want to kind of play it safe. So I want to like 22, uh, 25 maximum. Uh, so yeah, uh, at least 22 villagers in each pocket. Uh, I think that we can call it pocket. And so, yeah, uh, the villagers are now approaching the first capsule and hopefully they will land safely in there. And I've got in the barrels, so I can actually go. Yeah, I can actually go watch it if they will land safely or not. So, yeah, I've got the block. Okay, so they should be arriving any moment. So let's wait for them a little bit. Oh, yes, there they are safely in here. One, two, three, four. Uh, well, I need to go back up and uh, hopefully my and the pearl skills are good enough. So let's just aim it a little bit. Can we land on top of that? No, we can't. Okay, so we are now at the bottom of the ocean. Let's throw another. No. Okay, so I think they are all here. Uh, well, Hello in the barrel. I think they are all here. So I need to actually make sure that they made it all here because I I don't want to kind of block that water and to find out that they are not safe. Can we do it this time? Okay, we can't. Well, I land on myself, that's good. Let's try it one more time. Okay. So, 
apparently I'm not very good at this. So yeah. Okay, they are all there. So we can now block this off and we can remove this pillar. So yeah, I will just block this off. Hey guys, go away. Um yeah, th this will be will be a little bit difficult. Uh you know what? I will just use a piston. And yeah, I need to I prepared myself for this situation, so that that's good. So I need a piston right there and I need a block right there and I need to power that piston and we are safe. Okay. So now I can actually remove some of those blocks and I want oh well I want to breathe and now I want a glass and let me can I just there a glass okay I can't I can't well I know you are drowning right now be safe oh my god oh my god no 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 yes yes okay they are safe I think I will just do this because I want to play it safe and now I need to power that oh yeah I powered the wrong block I need to power that okay so now we are safe and we can actually remove this pillar because we don't we no longer need that so yeah I just need a little bit of air so we can remove that pi this pillar and we need to repeat this two more times and yeah I wanted to show you something guys because uh, I don't know how you but I'll just kind of like feel that I love this kind of look you know, you have kind of a tube going somewhere and there's some pillars into the water and this like underwater kind of station. I, I just love it. I, I kind of feel it would be it wouldn't be so good to have uh something there, but I just love the look under the water when you are looking from from the land you know and it's it's just look amazing and I, I was kind of thinking about building something like this somewhere in the sea so you can actually look from the top and you can go there and do some things there but I, I kind of just like it and I can't help myself but yeah th this this look amazing and I love this kind of a tube that's going and then you know well maybe it's the water it's making that this is the water because on the land it's not looking so good but in the water well okay uh, I need to do a little bit more AFKing so I need to get another 40 villagers and I think I will put down them down uh, behind the camera <laughs> yep and uh, I will come back when I will be prepared to start working on the village chaining and as you can see I've got a plenty of logs right here but I calculated that and we need 25 logs of wood so it's nine uh, let me quickly it's a 9, it's 18, it's 20, well, I think I will be good. I need to still do some uh, some harvesting, but yeah, I think I will be good and I need to start, and I can start working on this as soon as possible. So yeah, I will get those villagers and see you when it's done. Oh! 
Okay guys, so everything is in the place, all those villagers are in those holding cells. So now we can move on and start the process of chaining those villagers. So yeah, this is gonna be long, long way uh, until the end, but yeah, we've done pretty much everything and hopefully wish me luck i've done everything correctly so yeah uh one thing that i want to point out are those slimes because uh i actually broke my sword and now i'm killing them with the eggs don't worry i've got two axes so yeah i will have one for the killing and one actually for those doors because we need to place and break down a lot of doors so yeah and i want to show you something that uh, i've been killing those slimes uh meanwhile i've been working on this area and uh, i've got a lot of slime balls like real lot i've got actually stuck of uh, slime blocks so yeah i can show you that and hello little fella how are you okay he's dead and uh hopefully there are no slimes left so yeah i can show you that i've got a real lot of slime balls that's uh probably more than i would ever need so yeah now we can go down and i set up this little chunk loader or it doesn't matter how you want to call it uh this is the system for oh hello mr skeleton how are you so this is the system for loading those chunks and i need to light this place up a little bit so yeah uh, here it will actually be our collection area and as you can see there is the system for those uh, there's like a hopper clock uh, with that is actually set up for one minute and every minute uh, one item will be actually spit it out from this uh, this dispenser right here into the nether portal and those chunks all those chunks will actually load so I've got plenty of stuff that I need to put there because now we don't have roses and uh, we are we are going to use those roses from iron golems and now I will actually put gravel there because I've got a lot of this and some flint because I don't want that either and yeah we are good so now I can start working on those chaining so yeah hopefully I've done everything right and wish me luck and I will come back to you when this hopefully will be working farm and everything will be in place and i need to get rid of those slimes yeah they are driving me crazy okay guys so as you can see something went wrong and yeah um the farm is not working i've done everything down there but no golem spawned so i decided to take a break and try it someday else but yeah as you can see the villagers somehow escaped and now they are here and when we take a closer closer look here you can well there's the sand wall you can actually see that 
the 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 doors are placed everything is well something went wrong you can see all those villagers almost all of them escape and uh, yeah um I, I do not know what happened and i decided to kind of take a break um from this project and uh, continue it someday else so yeah for now we leave it as it is and uh, yeah I, I need to dry out more areas because I think the problem is the water and yeah just uh, I'm I'm sad about it, but I can't do anything uh, in this point. So yeah, that that's it. So I will kind of take a break from this project. Um, I need to dry out more areas. You. You could actually see that I already started, but uh, um, I just don't feel like I'm in mood for this right now. So yeah, I need to dry out this whole area and I need to dry out those stripes. Um, I checked everything and everything is in place. Uh, everything is built correctly so yeah the only problem that I can actually think of is the water so yeah that's it well um, at least we have a village spawner so um, I can start working on something else and in next episode uh, I I feel like I want to do something completely different so yeah I'm planning to do a winter hunt and get ourselves a beacon and yeah, as you can see we've got plenty of villagers uh, right here so yeah th there's no problem fixing that but wow this is loud but yeah you you know um, it's it's frustrating and uh, um, I, I don't have the energy to start it right now again I, I need to take a break from that and yeah so this will be it for today's episode so hello bunny so hope you enjoyed that and um, yeah um thanks for watching guys uh leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing um by the way i've got some problems with my pc right now so i need to take care about that also my fans kind of broke so yeah i need to i need to fix that also so uh you you there will be episodes uh one a week and after i fix the computer um i need to kind of return it and claim my warranty so yeah uh, after i will fix my fans uh there will be more episodes and uh, meanwhile i will actually start drying that out uh, on other PC that is not that powerful so I can't unfortunately record any episode but yeah um, I'm excited for the next episode and the one after I've got uh, a little fun project so yeah this will be it so thanks for watching guys and see you next time